Hi. This demo will demonstrate the code quality governance features of Integrated and Rational Software Analyzer with Rational Team Concert. We will first demonstrate how to configure Rational Software Analyzer as a precondition to deliver and source code to the repository. Then, we will show how the preconditions prevent users from delivering code that violates the rules that were specified. Afterwards, we will cover how we can generate work items directly from the results found by Software Analyzer. This demo assumes that you have basic knowledge of Software Analyzer and Team Concert. Let's begin. Here, we have an Eclipse development environment with both Rational Software Analyzer and Rational Team Concert installed. We are currently attached to the RSAR demo project area. In other words, we have a connection to this repository. We will now add Software Analyzer as a precondition to deliver in source code. To do so, we must first be the administrator of the Rational Team Concert project area where the project resides. Um, this project follows the Agile process. Once logged in, we can open the Team Artifacts view. And if it's not already open, we can open it by going to Window, Show View, and selecting Team Artifacts. Here, we see all of the project area and repository connection information. To add RSCR as a precondition, right click on the project area and select open. This is the RTC project area configuration page. To continue, select the process configuration tab at the bottom of the editor. Here, we can customize the process that the team follows. Let's start by customizing the global settings for the team. Under the team configuration element, select operation behavior. Now, scroll to and expand the source control element. If we click on the cell corresponding to deliver client and everyone, we can see that there are already two preconditions. The first precondition is clean workspace, which requires that your workspace compiles and that there are no problems found. The descriptive change sets precondition requires that each change set that one delivers to the repository has an associated work item. If either of these preconditions is not met, RTC will prevent you from delivering the changes without a fix or a manual override, if allowed. Now, we will add an RSAR analysis as a precondition. First, press Add, and then select Rational Software Analyzer, then press OK. It has now been added as a precondition. However, we must now select which rules we wish to run during the analysis. Any violations of the selected rules will prevent the code from being delivered to the repository. Let's add the avoid using system out or system error in production code rule. This rule resides in the profiling category. To select the rule, simply check the checkbox next to the rule name and then press Apply Changes. We now want to save the project area, so we press Save. We have now successfully added Rational Software Analyzer as a precondition for source code delivery. This means that the repository will no longer accept the code that does not conform to the set of selected rules. In addition, it is not uncommon to have stricter quality requirements as the project deadlines approach. If we expand the Iteration Types element, and then the Stabilization Phase element, we can add another precondition here. Since this is the Stabilization Phase, the project administrator may desire to have a different set of rules as a precondition to delivery. Following similar steps as before, we can add the precondition and select the, the rules we want.
here, we will select the security and performance categories. This set-in will override the more generic set-in when the project is in the stabi stabilization step. In other words, we have specified a stricter set of rules as the project approaches its deadlines. Finally, the project administra administrator may specify whether or not a developer can manually override the precondition. This feature allows the developer to make a judgment call as to whether or not the problem is worth fixing. To do so, you can select the user may override, overrule checkbox, then press apply changes and save. So far, we have seen how to set RSAR as a precondition for source code delivery um, for not only the team, but in addition to specific phases as well. Now, we will see it all in action. We now move on to the second part of the demo. In this part, we will demonstrate how our preconditions prevent developers from delivering problematic source code and how these preconditions are replicated to all members of the team. Here, we have a class called demo, and within it, we will add a simple system.out.println statement. This will print information to the console. If you remember, we added a precondition to prevent the usage of system.out or system.error earlier. Let's add our changes to a change set and attempt to deliver it to the repository. To add the change to a change set, right click on the change, select check in and select the change set you want to add it to. Let's add it to change set work on demo. To deliver the change set, right click on the set and press deliver. As you can see, the delivery failed. This is because our precondition failed. There is source code in violation of our rules. To see the violations, we can press the switch to RSAR UI button under the solutions tab. Under Java code review, you can see that there is a violation of avoid using system.out or system error in production code see the violation, we can double click on the result and it will bring us directly to the violation in the code. We can fix the problem from here and attempt to deliver once more. Again, we repeat the process of adding our changes to a change set and then deliver it. The delivery was successful as we fixed all problems with the source code. We will now demonstrate how all of the preconditions defined by the administrative users are replicated to all members of the team. Earlier, we created a precondition under the user TestJ. TestJ was an administrator. Now, we are logged in as the user Jane. Jane is not an administrator. Here, we have created a class called some new class with a method that does something. Within the method, there is a call to system.out.println. This is in clear violation of the precondition we defined earlier, which was to avoid the usage of system.out and system.error. We have already added these changes to a change step. Let's try to deliver the change. As you can see, the Rational Software Analyzer Team Advisor halted the delivery once again. We can see the problems if we switch to the RSAR UI view. And within the view, we can see the result. Rather than fixing the problem immediately, we can create a work item and fix it later. So if we right click on the uh, result, we can click on create work item. This automatically creates a work item for you. 
the summary is filled with the name of the rule, and the description is filled with the file name, the line number, and the violation. If we complete the work item, and then we save, we've effectively created a work item from a result. To summarize all the topics we've just seen, we have created preconditions for code delivery and they were replicated to the entire team. We attempted to deliver code and we were stopped by the advisor. And we created a work item directly from a result. This concludes the demo. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Thank you for watching.